Rick and Morty, the most news in the morning, period. Weekday, 6 Eastern. If you're guzzling the coffee right now, you wake up, you're tired all the time, it may just have something to do with your waistline. Our senior medical correspondent, Elizabeth Cohen, is here talking about sleep apnea this morning and some simple fixes for it. And Elizabeth, one of them appears to be <laughs> like the fix for many things that we talk about, lose weight. Isn't it amazing how useful losing weight, Karen, is? It's just incredible. Good for your heart, good for all sorts of things, including a good night's sleep. What they did in this study is they watched people who weighed, let's say, around 220 pounds. When they lost just 10% of their weight, so just 22 pounds, their sleep apnea, for many of them, just went away. Sleep apnea is terrible. What happens is while you're sleeping, you snore loudly and you have a hard time getting air. So it's kind of like trying to suck air through a straw. Some of these people were gasping. They actually weren't getting oxygen for several seconds at a time throughout the night. When you don't get oxygen, that's obviously bad for your brain and your heart. So again, what they found is that when folks lost just 10% of their weight, most of the time their apnea went away. The other issue, how, how do people know whether or not they're uh, just a typical snorer, they occasionally snore, or whether they actually have sleep apnea? Right, not all snoring is a sign that something is terribly wrong, but if the person who is sleeping next to you is complaining, that's a sign that things could be bad. That's a sign that you could be having sleep apneas during the night. Another sign, of course, is if you're tired the next day or you have headaches when you wake up, that's another sign that your snoring needs medical attention. I got you. Now, oh, if you uh, lose weight, does it actually help snoring in general or only if it's apnea related? Oh, no, it can help snoring in general. So, I mean, losing weight is always a good thing, but it can help snoring, it can help your sleep apnea. And you know what, Karen, there's some other things you can do to help get rid of sleep apnea in addition uh, to losing weight if you're overweight. For example, something you can do is you can stop sleeping on your back. The gravity's working against you. Everything's kind of plugging up your airway. Don't smoke, don't drink. And there are some mouthpieces that can help people who have sleep apnea. Oh, good advice, good tips. Everybody's looking for a better night's sleep, so That's right. <laughs> we can all understand that. Elizabeth Cohen for us this morning. Thanks so much.